rhodium. It's a name you don't often hear unless you're deep into chemistry, investing in precious metals, or shopping for extremely high-end jewelry or cars. But this obscure element, with the atomic number 45, has quietly claimed the title of the most expensive precious metal on Earth, often trading for many times the price of gold or platinum. So what makes this silvery white metal so outrageously valuable? Why do industries scramble to get it, and why is it so rare? Let's dive into the fascinating world of rhodium, an element that's not only rare and beautiful, but also crucial in making our environment cleaner. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. First things first, what exactly is rhodium? Rhodium is a member of the Platinum Group Metals, or PGMs for short. It was discovered in 1803 by English chemist William Hyde Wollaston, shortly after he isolated platinum from a piece of South American ore. When Wollaston dissolved platinum in aqua regia, a powerful mixture of nitric and hydrochloric acids, he noticed something unusual in the residue that remained. After a series of experiments, he was able to isolate a new element, rhodium, named after the Greek word rhodon, meaning rose, due to the rose-colored compounds it formed. Despite its beauty and fascinating properties, rhodium flew under the radar for much of history, but that all changed with the rise of modern industrial processes. Today, rhodium is highly prized for its unique properties. It's incredibly reflective, resistant to corrosion, and extremely durable, even at high temperatures. These qualities make it ideal for a number of applications, particularly in the automotive industry. In fact, more than 80% of the world's rhodium is used in catalytic converters, the essential component in car exhaust systems that reduce harmful emissions. When exhaust gases like carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and hydrocarbons pass through the converter, rhodium helps trigger a chemical reaction that converts these dangerous pollutants into harmless gases like nitrogen and water vapor. It's a tiny amount of metal with an enormous environmental impact. But here's the catch. Rhodium is exceedingly rare. It's one of the rarest elements in Earth's crust, estimated at just 0.000037 parts per million. To put that in perspective, gold is about 1,500 times more abundant than rhodium. Most of the world's rhodium is obtained as a byproduct of mining for other metals like platinum and nickel. It's not something that can be mined directly in large quantities and that adds another layer of scarcity. Around 30 tons of rhodium are produced globally each year, compared to over 3,000 tons of gold. This combination of rarity, utility, and high demand makes rhodium a classic example of supply and demand economics at work. Because it's so hard to obtain and has such a critical industrial role, rhodium prices can be extremely volatile. In fact, Rhodium has earned a reputation in the investment world for its wild price swings. In the early 2000s, rhodium was trading around $500 an ounce. But by 2008, the price had soared to over $10,000 per ounce, only to crash back down during the global financial crisis. Fast forward to 2020 and 2021, and prices once again skyrocketed reaching an all-time high of nearly $30,000 per ounce. That made rhodium over 15 times more expensive than gold during that period. Why the surge? As emissions regulations around the world tightened, especially in China, automakers needed more rhodium to meet environmental standards, while supply remained stagnant or even declined due to labor strikes and mine closures in major producing countries like South Africa. Interestingly, South Africa dominates the global rhodium market, producing over 80% of the world's supply. 
the rest comes mainly from Russia, Canada, and Zimbabwe. This geographical concentration also contributes to its price volatility. Political instability, logistical issues, or even temporary mine shutdowns in any of these countries can send shockwaves through the market. Despite its astronomical cost, rhodium has found niche applications outside the automotive world as well. It's used to coat optical instruments and mirrors for its high reflectivity and resistance to tarnishing. You'll also find it in the world of jewelry, not as the main attraction, but as a brilliant coating for white gold or silver to give them that extra shine and prevent tarnishing. Rolex, for instance, uses rhodium plating on some of its dials, and some high-end pen manufacturers and watchmakers have experimented with rhodium for its aesthetic and durability. But because of the price, rhodium jewelry remains incredibly rare and luxurious. One of the biggest questions about rhodium is whether it's a good investment. The answer is complicated. Yes, its rarity and industrial importance make it an attractive option for some investors looking to diversify their portfolios. But its extreme price swings mean it's not for the faint of heart. Rhodium is a speculative investment, and because there are no major futures markets for it, trading is mostly done privately or through specialized brokers. It's not like buying gold or silver coins. Rhodium is typically purchased in the form of bars or sponge for industrial use. Still, some investors who bought low and sold during a price surge have seen enormous returns. So is rhodium the most expensive element? Technically, yes, if we're talking about the price per ounce or gram in the commodities market. Its blend of rarity, industrial necessity, and supply challenges keeps its value sky high. But rhodium is more than just a price tag. It's a fascinating element that highlights the intricate links between science, industry, the environment, and the global economy. Whether it's cleaning the air we breathe or dazzling in a luxury watch, rhodium quietly plays a role in our modern lives, even if most people have never heard of it. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.